One side order. One side order. Oh my god, are you kidding me? This is a side dish. Yeah. Hey everybody. If you've been following me for a while, you know I just came back from my vacation in Vietnam. And because I missed the food, I happened to try this place. Pho Gia Lin as it's spelled in English. This is a new restaurant, maybe like a year old. It's really large, extremely spacious, incredible decor. I love the seating here, very nice and comfortable tables and even counter seating. There are some really unique things about this place that really got my attention. Some really interesting things here. This is their usual traditional Vietnamese food, the broken rice dish. I got the one on the right, the combination, loaded with the wonderful Vietnamese marinated meats, even Chinese sausage, a really tasty shrimp and bean curd patty, egg meatloaf, shredded pork skin, the pickled radish and carrots, fried egg, and of course the broken rice. So this is not unusual for a Vietnamese restaurant to have. And of course, the classic pho, your rice noodle dish. This is the combination. It comes with a variety. Here's a look at their pho menu. You can get the combination which has everything or you can create your own. The ingredients here are very fresh and the meats are top notch. Their broth has a great flavor. Their noodles are good. It's just a good pho. Now you can get the items that you like or like this combination here. And of course you get your side of herbs, your bean sprouts, your veggies. This has tripe, meatball, the rare steak that cooks in the broth when you put it in there. And then your fatty beef flank and some other things like beef brisket. And you can eat this any way you want. I like to use a combination of the hoisin sauce and the shiracha. The food was as good as I expected it to be and the ambiance and atmosphere of the restaurant was exquisite. But I was still not planning to make a video until I discovered something really unique about this place. I looked deeper into the menu and I found their side dishes, particularly this big bone soup for $9.95. They also have other sides such as tendon, $5.95, pretty good portion for $5.95. I ordered a plain noodle soup and then planned on adding my sides into this. And they also had oxtail as a side dish. It shows just one big piece, but there were actually two smaller pieces in the broth. It's served with a little bit of the pho broth. The oxtail was tender and fatty, everything about oxtail that makes it so good. And I always say it, but if you've never tried oxtail, you don't know how great the flavor is. Now you can order oxtail pho for a little more and a big bone soup pho, but I got them on the side. I just wanted to eat just the meat. Look at that marrow inside, that's so crazy. The first time I ever even heard of a big bone soup or big bone pho was at District 1. And now they're popping up at more places. But if you're lucky, you'll get a piece with some bone marrow. Check this out, bone marrow. Wicked Spoon serves bone marrow because it's a high priced item and it's a fatty, gelatinous, incredible rich taste. But if you get a couple of big bones here that has the marrow, you're in luck. And they also have something called a big bone one piece. This is actually one rib with a chunk of meat on it. That's why it costs more. It's got a lot more meat. This big chunk of meat on a bone reminded me of a beef rib. 
All of these meats flavor an incredibly tasty broth, but if you want to just pick apart the meat and eat it with a little bit of dipping sauce, you can do that. The bone just slides right out because the meats have been boiling, flavoring the broth for hours and hours. And although there's nothing that compares to a barbecue or roasted meats, the boiled meat still gives you tender chunks of meat. I've been having a really good time with some of these side dishes. It's so good. Even if it's boiled, it's really good. These side dishes really caught me off guard. I wasn't expecting this, especially this big bone. I will say the big bone is not always available. It's limited to availability. So if you're intent on eating this big bone soup, you might want to call ahead. Another unique item that they have here is a goat hot pot. You can get it plain or you can get it with the herbs, the veggies, your classic hot pot vegetables like chrysanthemum leaves, your Napa cabbage, and some cooked noodles, kind of resembled ramen. It's like a real hot pot. I don't think I've ever tried goat before, but a lot of people love goat, so I thought I'd give it a try. The broth contains some incredibly healthy vegetables, lotus root, dried dates, taro, some other unique items, all flavoring the broth, a goat hot pot. Another item that I never expected at a Vietnamese restaurant. What I know about goat meat is that it's supposed to be similar to lamb, a slightly gamey flavor. Some people think it's a slight gamey flavor. Some people will say it's more gamey and has a different flavor. So because they're not used to it, they won't eat it. But goat meat is really tasty and here it's not gamey at all. It was so slight that it tasted like beef. Goat is supposed to be healthier for you according to studies. It shows that it's lower in fat, cholesterol, and sodium than regular beef. There is a slightly thicker layer of fat when you cut into the meat and a higher bone to meat ratio than regular beef. This was a really tasty hot pot. If you know goat and you're familiar with it, you might really like it here. And it's healthy. They do have beer and wine here. They even have the Korean soju. I was able to step into the back and check out some of the process where they boil these delicious giant pots of beef and beef bones, big pieces of meat and the big bone. Now how do you eat a big bone? What's so good about it? I particularly enjoy the cartilage and the soft tendons. Now this one here is the bun ryu. This is a specialty of the house, their signature dish. This is only available on weekends. That's because they hand make the crab cakes with snow crab and king crab meat. That's right, king crab and snow crab meat. The noodles are thin and delicate and the flavor of the broth is outstanding. It's one of the best. In fact, I would say best in Vegas and maybe among all the other ones I tried in Vietnam as well. I'll go so far as to say that. The king crab and the snow crab cakes, amazing flavor. The broth was a perfect blend and balance of flavors. The tomato was not overpowering, just a slight hint. I came once on a Sunday evening and they were sold out. That's because it's labor intensive to make. So it's available on weekends, Friday, Saturday and Sunday until they run out. But I recommend you try this. It's the best I've had anywhere. This version of the soup can vary from place to place, but this is by far the best I've had. The balance of flavors was amazing and the texture of the noodles complementing all the ingredients. They do serve it with a side of veggies like banana blossom, your cabbage, but I wanted to try just the soup itself in its plain form along with the crab cake and the noodles and the vegetables even enhanced it further. And the more I think about this, the more I'm salivating and missing it and I'm wanting to go back. So the side dishes here at Pho Jelen was really amazing. It caught me off guard. Some of you may not like tendon and the cartilage and the gelatinous stuff, but for a long time, it has a deep, rich taste, kind of similar to why people like the bone marrow. It's just a notch below bone marrow. So I highly recommend this place. Check this place out. Great food, great atmosphere. So that's gonna do it for this video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.